Well, this just in at six. Almost Park Police are at the home of missing mother Suzanne Simpson tonight. This is brand new video just into our newsroom. The Almost Park Police Chief would not comment on what officers were doing there, but our crew saw evidence bags and a police canine on the scene. And tonight we've learned Brad Simpson is set to appear in court in less than a month following new charges just added against him and his business partner James Cotter was just arrested yesterday. Both Simpson and Cotter face tampering with evidence charges. Ken's five reporter Meredith Haas is live in the newsroom with what we're learning today. Meredith. ECs, we just found out that Brad's attorney just filed a motion for uh, to change his bond uh, conditions, and that motion shows that he, they have requested Brad be able to have contact with his four children. Now, as for that court date, it is set for November 13th, and it will be for those first two charges, unlawful restraint and assault. Now, Brad remains in the Bear County Jail on a bond recently increased to $3 million due to two added charges, each totaling $500,000. One of those charges is a tampering with evidence charge. Now, Simpson's business partner, James Cotter, is also in jail on a $500,000 bond, also for tampering with evidence in the missing persons case. An arrest warrant details Cotter's involvement with Simpson, with texts from Simpson to Cotter reading, if you're in Bandera, can you meet me at your house? I don't have much time. He also texted, sorry for the urgency, but you're all I got, especially now. Social media is destroying me. When the Texas Rangers questioned Cotter if he had the gun, he told them he didn't. Authorities say, he did. Documents allege a search dog found Brad's illegal machine gun yesterday behind Cotter's bedroom wall after he hid it there. Now, meanwhile, since October 10th, Brad Simpson has been facing an assault and unlawful restraint charge, which he will appear in court for on November 13th. Now, he is accused of assaulting his wife. Suzanne Simpson. Before she went missing, he also faces a federal charge from ATF, accusing him of owning an unregistered gun. We'll bring you updates on air and online at Ken's 5. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Meredith Haas, Ken's 5.